Yo, yo, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get your JSON file right off of your phone or your device, all right? So, we've got an announcement officially from Summoner's War. So, it says, hey, everyone. So, HTTPS currently gone. Um, HTTPS is currently not active for whatever reason. I guess they don't even know. <laughs> But what that means is that everyone can currently export their data with Swex version um, or with the Swex web even. Yes, also Android 7 Plus users. Not, they say not sure how long this will last though. So if you want to get it for free room removal, today is the time to do it. Um, and then it goes uh, to explain how to do it, uh, which is what I'm going to show you. All right, because um, if this is your first time, I know it can be a little little daunting and uh, overwhelming. So let's get into it. So first of all, uh, the link is in the description for this program, for the exporter itself. Uh, and also guys, you gotta click subscribe. If you don't subscribe to the channel, it's not gonna work. So those are the only two things you gotta do, all right? So you click subscribe and then you click and you start downloading uh, the exporter program now. Uh, if you already have it, you want to update it anyway, so you go there, all right? Now, once you're there, let me show you what you're going to be clicking on. All right, guys, so this is what the web page looks like. And uh, obviously, if you're on Mac, you're going to pick up uh, the corresponding one for you. But if you're on Windows, this is the one you want. Summers Work Exporter Setup, uh, win.exe, uh, 0, 0.0.34, okay? Now, once you get that downloaded and installed, um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is exactly what it's going to look like as soon as you open it, all right? Now, before you do anything, now you're going to need to get on your device. Uh, so your Apple iPhone, uh, your Android, your tablet, or whatever, all right? So, and you're going to want to go to... All right, so from this point, you're going to click right on the I, right? It's going to come up, uh, bring up a new menu. I'm not going to show it because I don't want my IP address to be showed on here. But you're going to scroll just all the way to the bottom where it says configure proxy okay so this is what's going to come up it's going to say off manual and automatic so you go to manual all right and now you can enter this now you click off for example on the port you look at your exporter the port is 8080 which is right on top uh right up here all right right up there there you go and then this is going to be your server you have to make sure that you enter it correctly so here we go so 10.0.0.15 when you're done you just click save that's it you save okay now that you have your proxy server information set up on your wi-fi settings you're going to go back to the exporter and you're going to click here. You're going to click on settings. And for you guys, this should be clicked on. Now, because I tested, mine was already clicked off. So what you want to do is you want to click it off. All right. As soon as you click it off, then you can start your proxy. So start proxy. And then all you do really is you just open up on your device uh, Summoner's War. All right. So now we're going to open up Summoner's War um, in the background there. And you're going to be able to see on here, we go to logs. All right, so now that we started our proxy, it, uh, it says that it is now listening on port 8080, right? Um, so as your, as your Summer's War game is loading up, boom, there it is. You see right here, this is all you need. You are already done. Um, it says that it got your JSON file right there, success. And now all you do is you go to the optimizer and then you just load that in. You open up your optimizer, you, cl you click on pick a file, just like here. It's going to bring up um, exactly where, it, it's just going to go straight to, to your files. You click on your account, uh, JSON, you open, and you see it popped up right there, Ace JSON file. You click import it, and it's going to be the same for me because I already did this, and uh, we are good to go. So there you have it guys, that's really it man. Um, so for a limited time, come to us has decided to let us get our JSON files very, very easy uh, without an emulator. So thank you, come to us, thank you so much. 
Hopefully you guys have an amazing free Ruby Moon Day, and it's very easy to get your JSON. If you didn't know, now you know. You know?